It's 10.23 p.m. on a Saturday. We are in the drive through line for Sonic. Hello and welcome to Saturday. Uh, this is not the place I want to be, but we're kind of in a hurry. We've been busy today working on stuff, and uh, tonight we are going to be recording more things for Stephen and Friends. Stephen and Friends is coming back, which is exciting. It's coming back in February, and in order to prepare for uh, weekly releases, which is something that I'm aiming for now that Dan can do it, um, I want to record content every single Saturday in January. Multiple episodes, if we can. Last weekend, we recorded multiple episodes of Joking Hazard. This weekend, we're recording multiple episodes of Broken Picture From, Frone, and we need to have some uh, food. We actually ran out of time to get food, to make food. There's content ID outside. Uh, we actually, <laughs> we ran out of time to make food and we're like, oh my God, we have to record soon. Let's go out and get something. Bojangles was supposed to be open until 10.30. They closed at 10. And then we tried Chick-fil-A. They closed at 10. But Sonic, like a beacon of greasy hope, was there, open until 1 a.m. or beyond. Thank you, Sonic. Truly doing us a service. That's exactly what saving the day looks like. You know, one of the things that we used to do on Steven Vlog that people have continually requested that we do and asked us to bring back is the food rating system. We used to rate things on a scale from one to seven stars. And if, if it ever hit seven stars, it was made out of angels. Maybe in 2017, we'll bring that back. In which case, the number three combo from Sonic, the uh, supersonic double bacon cheeseburger, is, I don't know, maybe a five. Five out of seven stars. It's it's above average. It's it's above average for, for, for fast food, I think. Um, there's some things that are contributing to it. For one, uh, the burger's actually, it's pretty good. It's not as good as like Five Guys, but in the realm of, of fast food burgers, it is good. Um, the tater tots are great. I mean, as far as like a tater tot goes, Sonic does it pretty dang good. I think it's, it's kind of hard to screw up what they got going. The other nice thing is that you can get flavor shots in your soda for like 10 cents. So you're already getting a combo for like 10 cents more, you can get vanilla Coke. And it's a lot better to have a flavor shot of Coke than just a vanilla Coke. And uh, I'd say, yeah, that, that all helps. It all brings it up to be an above average meal. Five out of seven, Sonic. Good job. I'd say mine was a three out of seven. Hmm. Three out of seven? Yeah, I had the chili cheese coney. It was... The tater tots were like six. Hmm. The chili cheese coney was like a two. Really? I love the chili cheese coney. It was not that good. Really? Mm -hmm. Got work for them counties. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, we talked on Skype after we finished recording. We did get a little recording done today, which is good. Still trying to build up a buffer in January to release stuff um, starting in February. But to be honest, after looking at everything, I actually might start releasing stuff like next week. So we might release a little bit early, but I think it'll be a good move. I think that'll be okay to do. Um, but things are going well. Mao actually went to bed a little bit ago, probably two hours ago. I stayed up because I had more stuff to work on, but things are all right. And uh, we're going to get our sleep schedule back to normal now that the Shadow of the Colossus painting is done, so I'm excited about that. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?